Louisiana Senator John Kennedy is a member of the Judiciary Committee, uh, who's probably an ultra MAGA senator, aren't you? <laughs> I uh, I listened to your to to your framing of the issue, Jesse. Uh, let me give you a couple of thoughts. I, I don't I don't mean to be uncharitable, but sometimes I think President Biden just doesn't eat enough fiber. <laughs> Um, he, he, he said today, for example, as you pointed out, that he bears no responsibility whatsoever for inflation. Um, I think most Americans are thinking right. And Jimmy, Jimmy Hoffa died of natural causes. Uh, also, the stripper really likes you. Um, I, I mean, look, here, here's, the, here's the truth. Um, the truth is that the Biden administration just keeps kicking its own ass. <laughs> the truth is, the Bi President Biden won the nomination because he promised not to be Bernie Sanders. Who has he tried to emulate? Bernie Sanders. After 14 months, we know that President Biden believes in bigger government, higher taxes, more spending, more debt, more regulation, a weaker military, open borders, taxpayer funding, funded abortion on demand, and turning cops into social workers. His energy policy, here's his energy policy, wind, solar, and wishful thinking. Mm -hmm. He thinks he can run the greatest economy, the most powerful economy, in all of human history without fossil fuels. And that's one of the main reasons why uh, the prices at the pump are, uh, are, are, are so high. And, and the American people see this. They see that after 14 months, um, nothing is built, nothing is back, and nothing is better. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why when you poll it, the American people say, well, the country is headed in the wrong direction and and the president he has no self-awareness or at least the people around him won't allow him to have self-awareness about the real problem he must know logically how to get out of this inflation spiral you know you stop the spending the fed's going to raise the rates and then you unleash american energy he must know that uh, but if he does that then the left is going to go crazy and totally desert him so he's kind of in a box and it looks like he's chosen the left isn't that right yes he's chosen the wokers um look he, he's as we've talked about before he's got to ignore the wokers they are bizarre they're one-dimensional um what the president needs to do to get inflation under control and to get gas prices under control is very simple he needs to turn to congress and say congress You've got, a, um, you've got a budget, live with it. Live within your means, don't spend any new money except on defense and helping Ukraine. Instead, he's, a, he's proposed a budget with two and a half trillion dollars worth of taxes. That's, that's kerosene on the fire. In, in terms of getting control of energy prices, what he needs to do is say, look, um, we can't run this economy without fossil fuels and I'm going to get my boot off the neck of the fossil fuel industry so we can return to being energy independent, we can add to, to the supply, and, uh, and prices will come down. And he's done the exact opposite. All right. Senator John Kennedy, who always has a way with words, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Justin.